Good morning. It is, I think, day three of healthy eating and uh, day two, no, day four. It's either day three or day four of healthy eating. Tim is not home. This is what I was worried about. Uh, I was worried that I was gonna have a hard time staying on my diet while Tim was gone or while I was home alone. But for breakfast today, I'm having one egg, one egg white, a cup of spinach, which is crazy how much I cooked down, and like five sliced mushrooms. And I just sauteed that up with some coconut oil. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, not much, but that's it. All right, it's really nice out today. Check it out. This weather is actually like pretty perfect compared to yesterday. So Kita came over, we are getting in the pool. I got out some of my favorite pool floats. I made my special smoothie of kale, blueberries, plain yogurt, and oh my gosh, Bandit is totally pooping right behind my hand there, <laughs> and um, apples. So I'm gonna drink that while I'm in the pool, but I'm really I'm really digging these smoothies now All right, so we got in the pool and I didn't get to show you guys any of it because I didn't realize this but Tim put the GoPro out here yesterday and started it for the time-lapse of yesterday's storm And then we just never brought it in and it just died So um, I couldn't use this because it was out here and it was dead But so I'm very sorry I didn't get to show you our awesome pool day, but we did have a fun time The water was slightly chilly now a storm is a brewin Look at that, stormy storm storm. Much storm, wow. So, time to go inside. Bye, little pool floats. to be home very very soon I'm making a smoothie for him to have when he walks in the door because he's hungry and look at this I am thoroughly grossed out like this is disgusting I was just coring this apple I have this thing that like cores the apple and what I don't even know what's happening inside of this thing like this is so gross and from the outside it looked perfect it looked like a perfect apple but from the inside not so much why? Now I'm scared of apples. I don't even want to core the next one. Like, oh my goodness. Good news. This one is much, much better. That other one really, really creeped me out though. I'm, I'm kind of not going to eat any of this apple. I'm just going to put the whole thing in there for Tim, but like, ew, right? I don't know. It is almost dinner time, so I'm going to make these baked chicken meatballs and some spaghetti made out of zucchini. But so I'm making this recipe right here. Hopefully they turn out to look like this. I am substituting a few things. So this is from a website called Dandy Dishes. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to saute up this was a small white onion, pretty small, like the size of my fist, so not, not very big. And then a few cloves of garlic, just gonna saute those up. Then I'm gonna add it into my other ingredients. So I've got my onions and my garlic sauteing. I have, my oven is actually already preheated, but I am not even close to ready <laughs> to putting these in there. So I'm going to take my one pound of ground turkey. This recipe is actually ground chicken, but ground turkey was on sale, so I think it should be pretty much the same. Oh God. Oh, I don't like touching it. Okay, but there it is. The next thing I added in was one egg yolk and it was kind of hard to get just the yolk. So there's a little bit of egg white in there. So there's that. I need to do a tablespoon of the tomato sauce. And now we didn't make this sauce. I know that this is not like a homemade sauce and we're doing this clean eating, but I wanted to show you guys what was in it because it's actually pretty fresh. So it's just water, tomato paste, diced tomatoes, fresh onions, basil, garlic, olive oil. I mean, this is anything that like we would have put in ours. So this does seem fairly healthy. So I'm, I'm okay with this, but a tablespoon of that is gonna go into this. And next is three tablespoons of fresh parsley, which we don't have, but we do have spinach. So I'm gonna use spinach instead. So there's one, two, three. And then I added my onion and garlic mixture that I was sauteing and I'm gonna mix this up. This is what the meatballs look like after they've been mixed. 
So now I'm gonna use my super handy scooper and scoop out one like little one tablespoon like balls basically. Put them in my pan. I'm gonna put some coconut oil in the pan first. Let me get them all scooped out. I've balled up all of the meat mixture into the meatballs. They actually look really good and it's kind of a lot. I didn't think that it was gonna make this many. Now we're going to spread this mixture across the top. It's a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and a tablespoon of whatever sauce uh, or tomato mixture you want to use. Just put that across the top of these and bake them at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. So here is the uh, the final outcome. This is what they look like before they go into the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in now. Oh, the hot air. Okay, and they're gonna go on the top third of your oven, so kind of like close to the top, and uh, bake for 15 minutes. I'm home, happy birthday. Uh, I feel like I'm you know, overly excited for dinner tonight because these meatballs that Jen's been making look awesome. We're gonna make vajetti tonight and it's gonna be vajawesome. I don't know what, I was trying to think of it like a fun word to say there, but that just came out sounding funny. But yeah, let's do it. Let's make some vajetti, yo. So we have our zucchini squash in the vajetti. I'm gonna do it on the thick side and oh, I cut, we cut them both. Both sides are cut. Um, so I'm gonna put this in here, kind of like a corn cobby thing. What do I do? Do I do this? Do I just spin it? I think so. Oh, look at it, it's making stuff. Oh. Is it working? I don't know, am I not doing it right? Maybe I'm not doing it right. Is that better? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. so I gotta use this as like a little spindle. Yeah, yeah. Is, is it, it cutting all the way through though? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, it is. Oh wait, should this go on something not this cutting board? Oh, maybe. <laughs> this is kind of awesome, actually. Yeah, it's really easy. Like, I'm doing this with very little effort being exerted. I'm a little bit worried about these seedy areas, though. Yeah, they're a bit seedy. They are. I don't know how that's going to work as far as cooking. And then it also said to cut these, because it's clearly going to be like 10 miles long. Like the longest jetty <laughs> ever. So, and do we just use one? Uh, hey. I, I don't know how much is... Maybe like one per person. Okay. This weird, like, center seed piece just popped out right now. Yeah, I never even thought to think about, like, what happens to the middle. There it is. Yeah. Here's the other one. Oh, it's so weird looking. It is really weird. I feel like the fajetti works twofold, because, like, uh, that's a lot of, of stuff. But it's really just one zucchini. Yeah, and the zucchini was, it was five bucks for, or five twenty-five, but you got three huge ones. So wait, what do they call this in the UK? Is this still zucchini? I don't know. Because I know that you guys call something like eggplant something different. They call it um, aubergine, aubergine. Ab aubergine, aubergine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what does it look like when it's done? Oh, look at a little pokey thing. It's a little a little zucchini cone. It's a little zucchini nub. Hmm. Yeah, this is awesome. I love it. This was one and a half zucchinis. Look at this. That's just so much. I'm just sauteing it over some mushrooms. With her bare hands. Well, it's I just put it in with my hands. <laughs> That's how I put it in here. This is what the vajetti looks like when it's done sauteing. I think I overcooked this a little bit, so next time I'll have to cook it a little bit less. But I did add some mushrooms also to the zucchini while it cooked. And the meatballs are done. They look a little funky. I don't know how good, I don't know. What do you think? I think they look all right. I'll eat them. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm excited to try them. We're just heating up the sauce and then we will be done, ready for dinner. All right, Tim is spooning the sauce on our chicken meatballs, breadless, chicken breadless meatballs. And a, I forgot to tell you guys that, these were breadless. That was the whole point of these. <laughs> totally forgot to say that earlier. But uh, on top of the vegetti and mushrooms. Actually, it doesn't look bad. Looks kind of all right. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. I will tell you that I'm craving like bread. Mm -hmm. you know? Are you? Yeah, like I want bread and butter, or, like bread and like oil and or whatever you know you get at like Italian restaurants. I want that. Oh. But this still looks pretty darn good. Like Billy Joel. Yeah. Sitting down for our next Disney movie, The Emperor's New Groove. Look at them, they're best friends. <laughs> what does mean? Sorry. I was filming you and Bandit sleeping together. That was a fun movie. Like that was one of my favorite Disney movies that we've seen so far because of the fact that they kept breaking the third wall. If you guys don't know what the third wall is, that's like me and you right now. If fourth. the fourth wall, sorry, <laughs> they're breaking the fourth wall, right? So if you guys don't know what the fourth wall is, that's like me and you right now, we're breaking the fourth wall because I'm talking to you specifically through the camera. 
but if I were talking to somebody else on screen like this, that would be not breaking the fourth wall. I don't know, maybe that's the third wall, I don't know. But, no, it's, it's one, two, three, four, right? So you guys being the camera are the fourth wall. One thing that I wanted to try to do tonight was we have two Bluetooth headsets, like two sets of headphones that are Bluetooth, and I know that I can hook up one of them to the computer. I wanna see if I can hook both of them up at the same time. I know this is like really random, but this is just like, these are the things that I like to try to figure out because in all reality, we were kind of thinking we might try to do some sort of like podcasty type thing for you guys. Just like a little something extra, just to give you guys, just to like, I don't know, us talking about the most random stuff, like what's happening at the parks, what we think about what's happening at the parks, what's happening around here, like the rain, I guess. We'll always talk about the rain, sort of what we do. Well, this just in, the computer does not like for you to have two Bluetooth headsets hooked up at the same time. Did like totally freaked out on me. So still working on the computer, but it didn't like it at all. I know there have been some questions about the outros and viewers doing the outros, so I wanted to kind of explain it to you guys a little bit better. It's something that we did a while ago, and we had a bunch of people sending us in outros saying, and now it's time to pay the price, and we were doing it, and then they kind of all dried up. And then we had some people send them in again, and so we started it up again, uh, and we like it. We like having you guys send your outros in because we like having you guys involved in the videos and we like seeing everybody say and now it's time to pay the price. So if you guys want to send us an outro of you saying and now it's time to pay the price, just upload a video of yourself saying it to YouTube and then send me the link and uh, we'll put you in the video. I just went outside to pet Abby the cat and I was petting her and petting her and then all of a sudden she looked distracted like something was happening and then another cat appeared out of nowhere. It was like a yellow cat and she's like, no, not on my watch and she like chased it off. I was like, yeah, we have a guard cat. Another fantastic day of trying to avoid the rain outside, which we did fairly well today, but I think we're done with the rain. I think it's done. I think tomorrow we'll be able to like go out and do something. Hopefully, it's just been so ridiculous lately with all the rain, but I don't know, I gotta go to bed. So I'm off and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.